been a long, lean year, Corey. I sure appreciate you taking time to help out. Well, part of my job is range analysis. Well, if a plan worked out for you, it'll be paying off in no time. <laughs> my creditors will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Sounds like one of them already has. No, no. That's Monday. A friend of mine. Here, Monday. Here, Monday. Come on down here. Come on. Come on, Atta girl. Here we go. Come on. Come on in here. Now, come on. Nobody's going to hurt you. Come here. Come on now. Here. Come on in here. Come on. Come on, little girl. Here we go. Here, Monday. Come on in here now. Come on. Get something to eat. There's a pup about four months ago. On a Monday. On a Monday, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that poor little thing was half dead from starvation, so I brought her home and I spoon fed her. And lately, she's been foraging for herself, each time a little further from the ranch. Oh, that's the lure of the wild. It's instinctive. I guess. She'll mate even if it's not with one of her own kind. It's a simple matter of survival. Yeah. It's kind of a unique animal, Corey. It's a wonder the way a man has hunted at any of them survived. Oh, they're smart, Jim. Live by their wits. Play a big part in the balance of nature, too. This kind of country would be overrun by rodents if it weren't for coyotes. I know. I can't help worrying about Monday, though. Like the other day, I found a coyote in a trap. I let it go, but there's no telling how long it had suffered. I keep worrying the same thing's gonna happen to her. It's illegal to hunt a trap in this area. Yeah, but that's not stopping somebody. You any idea who it is? No, nothing definite. One thing for sure. What's that? I hope I find out who it is before Monday does. The hard way. <laughs> Over here is the unused section of the range. Well, it's secondary now. It has good prospects. Fence it in and keep your cattle here. By spring, you'll have primary range. <laughs> Those two are becoming pretty good friends. Looks like they found something to keep them occupied. Here. Get my hands on who's ever setting these. 
For one thing, Monday has an instinct for danger built right in. Hope her luck holds out. Corey, this is one of my real problem spots. Probably just over gray. We'll make what we call a pace transect. Start out with plant composition. Our observations will give us an index on soil stability and vegetation trends. In other words, the health of this particular section of rain. <laughs> Sounds like doctor talk. Well, by the time we're through, we'll know how to treat the patient. I'll identify the plants, you mark them down, OK? Right. I'll start over here. Gumweed. Downy broom grass. Gumweed. Well, they're off and running.
Sagebrush. Corey, that's 17 different types of vegetation already? I never realized there's so much variety in one range. Well, that's a big part of the problem, Jim. We're gonna have to spray to kill the useless plants, give the good types a chance to spread. Stability's good. We've seen some signs of erosion, but the main problem's forage. Those vegetation types we've listed don't add up to good grazing. What's the next step? We send all this into the lab for analysis and recommendation. Then we can draw you up a good management plan. We'll follow the same procedure in your other trouble spots. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's important. Gunshot wound, and I can fill the bullet with my fingers. Here, try to dig it out. I'll get the first aid kit. Got it, did you, Dixon? Danny, did you shoot this coyote? Sure, would have finished her, too, if it wouldn't have been for that collie. You know, that thing led me around in circles. Was that your trap we found the other side of the ridge? Yeah, what's all this? It's illegal to hunt or trap in this area. And you're trespassing on private land. No, hold on, you two. What are you getting so steamed up about? I'm just trying to rid this country of varmints. I don't want to lose any calves or chickens. Oh, come on, Benny. I've been around here for 10 years. I've never lost any stock. Just using that for an excuse? The point is, you're breaking the law. The game laws protect coyotes? In this area, they do? That doesn't make any sense. What do you do? Just obey the laws that you agree with? Some lessons come hard, Mr. Banning. This one's going to cost you. You'll be hearing from the game warden. This just wasn't my day.
I guess there's no holy, is there, girl? That male knows the ways of the wild, Jim. She'll learn fast. Yeah, let's hope so. 